Hey guys, I'm Dr. Jay. I'm a medical student who loves studying from books instead from this online study apps. Hi guys, I'm Dr. T. I'm a medical student who loves studying and learning from this online study apps, not like this old fashioned book reading guy. Hey Mr. T, talk properly. I might be old fashioned, but the method of studying from books and grabbing knowledge gives immense happiness. Do you know that? <laughs> Joke. See Mr. J, the method you are following is like walking on a road to reach your destination which is 100 kilometers away. But when you have aeroplane which is the study apps which will make you learn fast and reach your destination fast. What is the hurry in learning fast? These study apps have made you lazy. There they are explaining a topic within 15 to 30 minutes which has to be read, understood and memorized in one hour time. Standard books have vast knowledge which will actually improve your maturity of thinking and also knowledge grabbing. But these study apps have made you lazy lazy lazy. <laughs> again one more joke. See Mr. J again you are telling that a topic which is worth 30 minutes has to be read one hour. That means it's waste of time. You are wasting time bro. Time is money. But this time is saved by all the apps like Marrow, Prepladder, eGurukul. These are all helping many medical students to learn fast and save time. Aha, uh -huh. what a point. Time is money. That is why you are spending lot of money on study apps and you won't even open them at all. If you want to study and you want to open an app, just beside that app only there will be Instagram, YouTube and PUBG. Instead of opening your study app, you will open those apps and waste time. But if you have a textbook beside you, you can just open it and just study aram se and get all the knowledge. Oh, -ho. good point. Okay, if we want to study and we really did open the app and we want to study CNS and stroke, I will open the topic within 10 seconds. Can you open the CNS and also stroke within 10 seconds? Where? Show me. See, that's what, waste of time. No, no, for you to open and study your study app, you need internet, but for me, I can open my book whenever I want, wherever I want and I can study whatever I want. <laughs> wherever you want. In my study app, there are 19 subjects in one place from first year to final year and I can carry it easily anywhere. And if you want to get a topic explained by a professor, you need to wait till the next morning to go to college. Until then, you need to die with that big big books. But me, if I want a topic, I'll just click it and listen it from the top faculty in my study apps. And by the way, you need a lorry to carry all those 19 subjects books, right? But I just need an iPad or phone just to study, right? Eh, no, I don't agree with all that. I don't agree with your study apps only. They are really very costly. They are deviating students from classic pathway of studying and learning the subject. You have to buy an iPad and you have to buy an internet and you have to buy plan in that in for your study apps and again you have to pay your medical college fee. Everything is costly, costly, costly and your study apps are waste, waste, waste. Your book reading method is only wrong. Takes a lot of time to study and even your books are also costly. And by the way, you need to buy a lorry, right? To carry all those 19 subjects books. Eh, don't talk too much. I will hit you on your head with this book. Hey, don't talk too much. I can also hit with my iPad. Ah, hit me with that iPad. That iPad will break and your study apps will be poochik. <laughs> Hey, don't make me angry. Hey, what? Uh, what? Uh, you come, you come, you come. Uh, what? Uh, you come. Uh. Old day, old day. What nonsense is going on here? Guruji? Guruji? Uh, what idiots? What are you fighting for? JD sir, see this fellow is saying that reading books are waste and study apps are only best. Yes Guruji, tell him that study apps are only best and reading books are waste. No, study apps are only no, best. No, books are only best. Stop it. Both of you are worst. Your opinions on reading books in comparison to study apps is completely wrong. This has been a biggest doubt in the recent times to medicos, PG aspirants and even PGs since the pandemic hit and the colleges shut down. Lot of people have misconceptions regarding this topic of reading books or just study from the online apps. Today in this video I will clarify all your doubts regarding this topic and also I will tell you which method is best for medicos, what are the pros and cons and also how to study in this present scenarios. But before that did you subscribe to my channel Dr. JTM if not go subscribe and also click bell icon for notifications so that you won't miss any video from me. With no delay let's give clarity to the confused medical students.
Hey guys, this is Dr. JT, General Medicine Resident and a part-time YouTuber and I welcome you to my channel, Dr. JTM. Did you check out my medicine and surgery revision notes, which will be really helpful during your preparation to NEET PG exam. The links to download them is given below in the description. Go check out. Many students are in dilemma and very much confused whether to study from the books or study from the online study apps. Today, I will discuss a lot of points regarding this topic. At the end of this video, you will definitely get a clarity on this topic. So don't miss anything. Watch till the end. So now, let me talk about what you actually need. A standard book to study in your UG MBBS or you need a study app to study in your UG MBBS. The straightforward point is that you need to use them both parallelly. Now don't give me a weird look. I will explain it. Just before all this pandemic or just before all this hype of next PG exam or the clinical orientation patterns, how did you actually study the subject? Okay, leave that aside. Now we have a lot of study apps like Baidu's for 1 to 10 classes. But before that, how did we actually learn the subject? We used to go to schools, right? What will generally happen in schools or colleges? We learn from teachers. They will explain a topic in a very easy way and we understand it. So far, it's the same with the study apps and also with the books or the teachers. But from here, the teachers will give us a homework or will ask us to study the topic from the textbook and will say they will ask a question the next day. Then what we used to do? We used to go home, open the textbook, study, understand, build a concept, correlate with what the teacher or professor has said in the class or college. This will actually give us enlightenment and actually make us understand the subject much more better. And this is actually a very helpful and fruitful method, right? Now, let's see what's happening with these study apps. They want to study a topic, they will open the topic, a professor teaches in a very easy way. So far, everything is fine and same. But from here, the mindset of a medical student is completely changing. The MBBS UG student, PG aspirant and even the postgraduates are thinking that just studying or listening to the online study classes is enough and that is more than enough to grab the knowledge. That's the biggest misconception. You won't be grabbing any knowledge that way. Thinking that way, many medical students are just sitting in a room and listening to the video lectures for all the 19 subjects. And they're not even attending the clinical postings, they are just watching the video lectures of case taking or clinical examination and this is pretty useless if you are not attending the patient in person. You need to acquire certain skills as a medical student and that skills will be acquired only if you attend the ward postings. And in the same way, it's up to you to listen to the classes in the college or in the video lectures in your study apps. But after you listen to a class, you come back to your room, open the textbook, read it again, understand it, build your own concept. That's how you will actually understand the subject much more better and also you will gain confidence and you can actually improve your memory. So stop that unusual and useless method of listening to the video classes for hours and hours sitting in the room taking marrow, prep ladder, dams or batia thinking about PG preparation or next PG exam. There is a lot of time for it. Meanwhile, you need to build some skills which are really important in MBBS UG life. So if you are a good listener to the classes in the college, then you don't need any online study app. Listen to the class, come back to the room and open the textbook, write your own notes. But if you sleep or skip the classes, then definitely you need the study app. But don't forget to revise after completing the video class. And the second major question that many students asked is that the notes and the matter that is set by online study apps will be enough to write in the exam. See, this is really important and I'll give a clarity in this. If you want to study the textbook, then it is really vast and it will take a lot of time. But after completing the textbook, you will feel you have completed at least 70%. Then when you are writing the exam, you will be able to recall 60% and you will be able to write at least 50%. But what is happening with the study apps? They'll be telling topics in concise way and give the material in a minimalistic way. So studying minimalistic, that is at least 50 to 60% only. But when you are giving the exam, you will be able to recall only 40% and you will put on the paper only 20 to 30%. So that is big drawback. So what is the solution for this? So there is actually one. When you are listening to the video classes, open your textbook of the same topic and put a white notes and write the points that are missed in the video classes. Or later on when you are studying or revising the textbook, note down the points that are all missed in the video classes. In this way, you will able to study, revise, understand and memorize and able to score well in your theory exams. So that's how you utilize the study apps and also standard books parallelly and simultaneously. Now don't ask me that whether we have to buy both the books and the study apps. Then I would really suggest that you need to build a habit of studying the PDFs on your iPad because as Dr. T said, carrying the iPad and carrying the PDFs in that iPad is very easy and nowadays every book PDF is available for free. 
but some people really can't do pdf they really need books such people have to get the books and also get the study apps and that's all for today hope every one of you have got clarity which is best whether the study app or the standard book for medical students and my next video will be much more interesting one when to go and buy the online study app for pg preparation is it first year second year or third year I know you have a lot of confusion regarding this. That's the reason this YouTube web series, The Confused Medical Student, has started. If you still have any doubts regarding the first episode topic, then you can always comment down or you can ping me on my Instagram. The link to my Instagram is given below in the description. Go follow me in, on my Instagram. I'll be back with another great video. Till then, bye. See you again.